I assume you guys have been practicing hard for this, uh, studying up. Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I about know the rules of chess. That's like how well I play the game. So this is chess, but good. White goes first. So, uh, Simo, what do you want to do? E2 to E4. Okay. Can I do C7 to C5? Ah, the Sicilian. Um, what are these coins? I'm going to try to take a coin like, uh, H2 to H4. Okay, yeah. you have earned four gold. This is going to put you at nine gold. I mean, I'll, I'll do the same. I'll do A7, A5. Okay, you've earned four gold. Simo, I need you to pick one of these Whoa. rules. Yo, okay, I'm, I'm going to get the, the gun, of course. Okay, I'm going to make it spawn over here. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll see the skill tree okay. anyway. Okay, this is the skill tree. Um, for five gold, you can level up any of your pieces into any of the corresponding pieces. I want to do the, I want to do a suicide bomber. Okay. Um, for my, for my middle piece. All right. He's been replaced with a suicide bomber. When he <laughs> dies, he will destroy all pieces, uh, around him. Let's go. Okay. Can I look at the, the shop? Yeah, sure. You can buy any of these pieces for any of this amount of money. <laughs> the zebra. <laughs> and, sorry, am I at nine gold? Yeah, you're at nine gold. Can I do the mystery gold? So that one, that one's three gold. So this zebra, um, if he jumps over a piece, he can jump again like this. Boop. Uh, so every time it crosses over a piece, it gets one more move. Correct. Uh, C2, a C3. Okay. E7 to E6. E7 to E6, sure. I'm uh, I'm, I'm going to grab the gun with uh, D2. D2, all right. So this pawn, now's a gun. He's got a pistol. You can use this pistol to kill anything around him, but you can't move and attack on the same turn. And we're going to add another rule. So Bobby, I'm going to need you to pick one of these. Uh, the decrepit old man in the bottom right. Okay. Uh, he's the mushroom potion seller guy, and he's going to get both of you guys to pick a potion. So both of you can pick any potion. Bobby, you go first. Can I take the the piss-colored one? Ah, the piss-colored one. This is a potion of electricity, and it gives one of your pieces ranged. Can I give it to the pawn in front of my left rook? The pawn in front of your left rook? Sure. And uh, Simo, pick any potion. But the yellow one's been taken. I'm a bit colorblind, but there's probably a green one. Uh, there's actually not a green one. The only thing green is this uh, <laughs> this mushroom over here. Can I? What, is, what does that do? Is that, is that a poison? Can I pick that? Or is... You don't know until you pick. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get it. Okay. I'm going to get the green one, okay. the green mushroom. And then you can pick any one of your pieces, and it gets a one-up. So when it dies, it respawns. Oh, does that include the suicide bomber? Uh, it does. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get my oh, suicide no. bomber oh, one-up. No. Okay. Your, your, your suicide bomber now has a one-up mushroom. B8 to C6. Sure. Okay, I'm going to just shoot the, okay. <laughs> the pawn <laughs> that I can reach. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Okay, so this pawn dies, and it goes to hell. No way. Ama amazing. Yeah. So you can, you can now ask me if you want to see help. Um, also, when you kill a piece, you get a gold. So white gets one gold. That's gold. And oh, I see. Okay. You also get an experience point. Yo. I think I think my brain is lagging right now. Can I take uh, C six and knock out the gun pawn? Yes, you can. Uh, can I take the gun? You can take the gun. Yes. No. Okay. So your knight now has a gun, and I'm obviously just gonna explode my one-up guy. All right. The you horse. activate your detonation, and it, you blow it up, and it respawns where it w originally would have spawned. So it's like over here. Oh, okay. Huh. And we're gonna pick another uh, another rule. Uh, Simo, go. Minecraft zombie. Okay. So you've unleashed the zombie apocalypse on rows four and five. Oh no. <laughs> So these zombies will advance every turn, turning everything they touch into a zombie. But Awful. Uh, if you kill them, you get a gold bonus. It's the range on my piss potion. Your piss potion allows you to attack in any direction that your piece could normally attack. Well, so I'm going to lose the pawn, so I'll kill that one to get a gold. Okay. You zap this zombie to death, and you get three gold. Now it's the zombie's turn. So these, this zombie is going to advance, and he eats this pawn. But he doesn't, he doesn't die. It instead turns into a zombie and advances. Oh, no. And this guy eats this pawn. And it doesn't die. It turns into a zombie. It doesn't go to hell, I mean. Its soul was trapped in the zombie form. Okay, can I do... What is the Ultra Mega King? The, you want to upgrade to oh. Mega King? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this king takes up four slots, and it's going to devour any pieces that it uh, overlaps oh, no. with. So <laughs> oh, the, no. <laughs> the least damaging thing you can do is put him over here, and then you just lose this bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to do that. You now have a mega king. The mega king has a ranged attack, like a queen, um, that can hit anything uh, diagonal, uh, like, like so, or vertical, like so. But it, it, ha it has to have but, a clear but, line of sight. But it moves... Does it? Uh, it can move uh, like this, like a regular king. 
Yeah, but I mean the, the like ranged attack, is it also... Oh, no, the like, ranged attack do... allows it to stay where it is. It's using this magical scepter to fire a beam of energy. Oh, okay, I'm going uh, to kill the zombie to the top left then. Uh, unfortunately, you've used your turn upgrading him. Good. Hell. All right, let's go to hell. Uh, should I have a knight here? Um, oh, Two. yeah, actually, yes, your knight, your knight it blew up on 4D, so you should actually have a knight there. He was killed in a suicide bombing, so he doesn't go to hell. Yes, <laughs> that's actually um, that's uh, that's a that's a good point. The, the knight actually ends up going to heaven. <laughs> what? what? Okay. Okay. So you go to four D. You're now overlapping with this biblically accurate angel in heaven here. Um, yes. The biblically accurate angel asks you to free it. You can keep it uh, in heaven, or you can free it. I'm gonna free it. Okay. So the biblically accurate angel is unleashed, um, and it's picking up this gun because it spawns in the center. <laughs> no. Um, and, uh, that's it for now. That's, that's all it's going to do for now. If, if I do a move, can I fall on the, the Ada, sure. um, Starfleet symbol? Sure. Okay. You go over here. Uh, you have reached the God of Atheism. Um, the God of Atheism okay. can destroy all, uh, metaphysical objects. It can destroy hell, heaven, the angels, um, because none of that stuff's real. And we gotta, we gotta think about the real world, guys. <laughs> Uh, or you can allow everything to remain as it is. Is this a choice I can invoke later? Uh, you could, actually. I could leave it here and you could move back onto it later. I'm, I'm going to hold off on that for okay. now. Okay. Uh, okay, now the zombies are going to advance. Now, this is this is an interesting situation. So the zombies are going to uh, attack the biblically accurate angel, turning it into a zombie biblically accurate angel. So we're going to uh, recolor it green. No. Uh, let's Let's figure out which attack it's going to do. Of course. Ah, winds down. A powerful wind blows downwards. Uh, and everything ends up moving down. Everything that can move, moves down. Okay. Uh, this was all part of my, my strategy. Yeah, yeah. Is, is the the zombie... Okay, I guess the zombie angel is evil. Uh, can I just, like, attack the zombie angel with, with your my head? pawn? So you go to take this uh, biblically accurate angel, and he turns his gun towards you, using it up. This pawn is shot before he can move, but you get another move. You get another move, because that was the angel's turn. Now you're in combat with the angel. Um, okay, can I use my, my other pawn, my, my C3 pawn? Sure, yeah. Uh, this one goes through, killing the biblically accurate angel and awarding you 10 gold. Let's go. Oh, no. Uh, the zombies Wait, have... Do zombies go every other turn, like in between us? Yeah, yeah. So the zombies uh, end up morphing into a singular, enormous zombie. And uh, they end up what? growing about this size um, and uh, eating this, uh, this pawn over here. Um, they're, they're no longer interested in converting, by the way. They're just killing. So uh, this guy <laughs> ends up going over here. Oh, and he lands on the devil. Okay. The devil is giving you an, uh, an option here. You can release him, uh, remove any two existing rules. Uh, destroy an empty roar column, or you get 10 gold and your opponent gets 5. I mean, I kind of just want to release him. I feel like that's the the okay. best option okay. here. So, you've released the devil. Um, the devil is going to spawn over here. Uh, and then let's see let's see what the devil attack is. Alright. This is so elaborate. Oh, set panels oh. on fire. Okay. The how, how are there more slides we have not seen? Um, Minecraft fire. Okay. Uh, good, good. Excellent. <laughs> over here. Of course. Uh, okay. And uh, over here. Uh, the, obviously, this uh, burns all these guys to death. Oh, and actually, this uh, overlaps with a gold, giving uh, black three gold. So. And that was part of the strategy, actually. Part of the strategy, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, so this is all on fire. Okay. All I right. think I missed some of these rules while practicing, but what's the most expensive thing I can buy uh, for 10 gold? The most thing you can buy, the best thing you can buy is uh, you can buy a new rook. That can, like, it's that's not an, uh, that's just an additional rook. Or you could ask me about any of these, but it takes, you can only ask about one per turn. Oh, okay. I'm going to ask, what, a, okay, the flying giraffe. That is a, that's a steal at six gold. The giraffe can move like a knight. But he can also move one space further like this, you know? Like, uh, he, the L is one, uh, one space longer. Can I look at the shop? What about the Jester? How much does the Jester hat cost? Oh, the Jester is a real steal at only three gold. I, I would like to purchase the Jester. Okay. Uh, the Jester can move uh, diagonally and attack diagonally. When he dies, uh, blow up. So Bobby, pick a, pick a new rule. Uh, the king in the middle. Okay. 
Uh, kings can castle now with any piece. Um, so uh, I'm going to add that as a rule here, uh, which, which is to say, you know, any king can swap places with any piece as long as they're on the same row or column. Um, Damn, gosh, so many options. Can I use my zebra to crush the zombie? Um, this guy over here? Sure. So you could like, you're yes. thinking like uh, bouncing over here? Yeah. All right. Sure. Um, so Eliminate your, your zebra goes, attacks the zombie, dies, and you get 10 gold. Amazing. It's now the devil's turn. So we're going to just pause and do a double attack. Ah, flame clone. Okay, so the devil is going to multiply himself now. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, catastrophically, this leads to the uh, incineration of, of all of these guys. Um, Our special pieces. Yeah. Um, and uh, the devils, they look, they look at each other. They look at each other with a, with a grimace on their face. And they say, we will not rest until we have burned every single piece, regardless of color or affiliation here. So, and they laugh. Oh. <laughs> Good, at least it's not racist. All right, now you have, a, you have an option here. You can, if you both agree, uh, team up. And if you destroy these devils, then you'll win. If either one of you wants to battle to the death, then you can reject a truce offering and uh, try to kill both the devils and the other player. I'm, I'm perfectly uh, content to make a truce and uh, combine our efforts. Yeah, I was saying that we, we can already... We was already fighting these zombies and uh, <laughs> angels and whatever. So I feel like, uh, yeah, let's let's tag team this and wreck these devils. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just uh, attack with my mega king. Attack okay. the top right uh, devil. Okay. So you attack the top right devil, and the top right devil takes one damage. Devil two HP is now uh, a uh, four out of five. Oh no. All right. I thought there were like one hit kill like all the other pieces. No, so uh, now it's Black's turn. I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'll go to the shop and I'm gonna try and purchase something. Okay. Can I do the bomb? Uh, this thing? Yeah, the bomb in the bottom right. Oh, this bomb, okay, sure. So that, uh, oh, if that one is uh, five gold. Um, and you can launch it uh, to do a ranged attack that explodes in a three by three radius. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so that is uh, that's just a consumable you have. You can you can use that as your turn, um, but buying it was your turn. So now it's time for a devil attack. Okay, Ooh. okay. He's gonna spawn devils. Is what they look like. They're just smaller versions of him, and these devils will move next turn. Hmm. Okay. What's the skill tree? What does that look like? What's a best thing it's th what's the what's a menacing bishop it only costs five gold for you to figure out Bef before i do that can i ask my suicide bomber can it move and blow up at the same turn yes and when it dies it blows up okay so i think i think i'm gonna do that in first instead okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just like move him up two pieces and uh, all right so explode Excellent, excellent play. Uh, your suicide bomber explodes. Um, obviously sending him to hell, E4. Um, he doesn't go to heaven? Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, right, sorry. The suicide bombers always go to heaven. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, you kill this devil and that devil, and you also clear this fire, because, you, you know, fight fire with fire, that's what they say. Mm. Um, and you deal two damage to this devil over here, who's now left with two health. Uh, I think I'll, I'm going to drop the bomb Okay. in, I want to say, I'm trying to figure out how to do the most damage. I think E4. E4, I want, like I want, so? Yeah, because I want to get rid of, actually, no, can I move it over to one to the left? One to the left, okay. All right, you drop the bomb here, and, uh, you know, fighting fire with fire, blows these up, kills these guys, and uh, moves this over here. And this over here, and does two damage to this devil uh, who dies. So this devil, this devil is dead. And uh, because you're truced, you both get uh, you, you you split the pot of uh, twenty gold, so you both get ten gold. All right, now awesome. the devils will advance. This devil advances, killing, destroying the soul of that rook. This devil advances as well, destroying the soul of that rook. <laughs> this devil advances, destroying the soul of that rook. 
Mine didn't even, it was even in the right spot. <laughs> he jumped two spaces, and this guy jumps over here, destroying the soul of that pawn. Okay, I might just attack the big devil with my Mega King. Okay. Straight up, right? So you zap it works. Him. Yeah. You zap does one damage. Okay. Can I take my right bishop and just go right at the big devil? Wait, sure. can't, can't you use the jester? That's true, yes. It blows up. Yeah, that is true. Um, is, if Can I move the jester diagonally to hit the big double, or am I going to have to hit the small double? Uh, so diagonally, uh, you don't intersect with him, but you can move him here and blow him up. Can I do, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. You blow up on the devil. Does two damage. All right. Now it's the devil's turn. Okay. This guy's going to move forward, destroying the soul of that rook. This guy's going to move forward, destroying the soul of that uh, uh, knight. This guy's just going to move over here. And the devil is going to make his final attack. What's it going to be? The devil is going to move into the center and grow to be a four by four creature. Boom, 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 boom. I have a lot of gold. What's the most expensive thing you can buy? Uh, the most expensive thing you can buy is um, this uh, I don't have knight that. queen. Do you want to? Do you want to like lend me eight gold, Bobby? Uh, yeah, I'll allow it. If you want to give him six gold, he can buy the knight queen. For six gold, yeah. Sure. Okay. Awesome. All right. So you want to buy the Night Queen? Yeah, yeah. I'm buying the Night Queen. Okay. The Night Queen can move like a knight and move like a queen and has three health. Where do you want to put it? <laughs> oh, let's go. Uh, putting it straight in front of the devil. So here's my proposal. I am proposing uh, the devil and I can make a bargain where if the devil eliminates my opponent, I will let him have Earth. What? We made a truth. The devil a truth. loves that for I mean, you. The devil loves that I mean, for the, you. Um, the, the, devil, the, the devil appreciates your cunning and your backstabbing and is more than happy to team up with you. Uh, what the hell, Bobby? I thought we, I thought we had a deal. Well, but I, I have a deal with the, the devil now. Damn. Circumstance has changed. Can okay, I just uh, try to attack the devil still? Okay. Um, with, uh, who? I guess my pieces does one damage each, everyone. Uh, your king does. What about my horse queen? Mm, you don't know until you try. Okay, I'm gonna attack the devil with the horse queen. Um, you attack the devil with the horse queen, does two damage. However, uh, the devil, because you're overlapping on the same space, strikes right back, dealing two damage. Can I move the devil forward one space on top of the king? Okay, you move him forward one space on top of the king. Does two damage to Simo's king, killing no, Simo's king. No! However, Simo's king goes to hell. <laughs> Let's go. Simo's king must die in hell. Before Simo is eliminated from the game. This is one of the secret rules. The, this devil goes, consumes this soul. This devil goes and consumes that soul. This devil goes and consumes that soul. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. I know, no, no. And this devil... See what would have done. This devil goes over here. They're actually leaving you alone because uh, you've got the pact with them. Lawful evil. Yeah, I guess I'll just... Um, I guess I'll just attack the devil again. Okay. Like, move it... Um, yeah, move it there and attack. Yeah, exactly. All right. This does two damage to the devil. Devil dies. All the fire despawns. Okay, so with the devil gone, I go back on my deal with the devil, and then I talk to the king of atheism to destroy hell. God of atheism is more than happy to oblige, deleting hell. Simo, that deletes your king. Um, Bobby, well played. I mean, that was uh, that was very uh, evil. Um, but your uh, your king goes on to uh, become the most evil, vile ruler of all time. And uh, wins the game. Do you have uh, any, any parting words well, you'd like to give us? Uh, I'm very sorry for backstabbing both you and the devil. Um, but that's, that's, that's what chess is like.